Hi guys, I'm back today to do a highly requested tutorial on how to make a transparent pendant. Okay, so let's get started. First you will need a stamp and a sheet of paper. Ink your stamp and press your image down onto the paper. And as you can see here, I'm doing it several times. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, the next thing that I did was I made a copy of my stamp sheet. Once I made the copy, I shrunk the images. And then, after I shrunk the images, I made copies of those, printed those out, and then cut those and paste those images onto another sheet. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step. I picked up some 3M transparency film for copiers at my local office depot and this is a clear sheet of uh, plastic so the next thing that you'll do is you'll make copies from your printed out sheet onto your clear sheet and that's hear, hear me just showing you how that went and so now you see the copies that's been made onto the clear sheet and you can get this done at office depot also okay so on to the next step Go ahead and mix your resin and pour just enough to cover the bottom of your mold. And you can do this one of two ways. You can um, let this solidify overnight and then come back the next day and pour some more resin in and insert your image. Or you can wait about an hour and insert your image into the resin and fill it up all the way. So as you can see, I have bubbles in my resin. And you can use a straw to blow the bubbles out. And you can also use a toothpick. But when you're blowing the bubbles, make sure you don't inhale the vapors. Just exhale through the straw. Do not inhale, it's very important. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit this here and let it set up a little bit, about an hour. So today I'm just using the Easy Cast resin. And you can pick that up at Michaels and use your little 40% or 50% coupon to buy that. I do that all the time. And so here um, you see I've cut out a square and I already have a pendant that I've done previously. And so I'm just gonna use that as a guide to cut out the circle for my new pendant. And once you print it out on the film, you'll see that one side of the image will be dull and one side will be shiny. You always want the shiny side of the image to be the front of the pendant. So keep that in mind when you're um, putting your pendant into your resin. And so I'm measuring to see if the pendant will fit. Well, the circle. And actually it's a little big, so I'm just gonna trim some excess off my image to make sure that it will be fully submerged into my resin. Okay, so now, as you can see, there's fingerprints on the image. So just take a lint-free towel and wipe off your image. And just continue to clean it until you're satisfied and um, as you can see, it's still a little dull, but that's fine. Um, you won't be able to see any of that once it's submerged into the resin. Okay, and as you can see, the dull side is on the back of the pendant. And so what I've done is just angle the piece of plastic with the image on it so I can kind of slide it down in there into my resin. And as you can see, it's starting to cover the pendant, I'm sorry, the image, the plastic. And so what I do is um, I'll get a toothpick or a popsicle stick and flip the image around so the resin is coated on both sides. That, that'll make the image submerge into the resin a whole lot better. So just use a little bit of pressure and as you can see, the bubbles at the bottom uh, 
just try and push those to the top and since I didn't do the first method I was telling you about how you can pour the resin and let the top layer solidify overnight uh, it's going to take a little bit more manipulating so as you can see I'm flipping the image again and I've gotten a second toothpick so what I'll do is use one tooth I'm sorry popsicle stick what I'll do is use one popsicle stick to hold the image in place and use the yellow popsicle stick to press the bubbles out. Now just scrape the excess resin off your popsicle sticks and fill your mold with resin to the top. And like before, if you have any kind of bubbles, you can use a toothpick to pop them or you can use a straw again to pop the bubbles. And you want to fill it all the way to the top because if you don't, you really have a hard time uh, popping your your pendant from the mold. So I'm just really giving it a good scrape down. And so here you'll see that I'm using my straw again to blow away the bubbles. And again, please do not inhale while doing this. And so now what I'll do is just clean up all the spillage around the mold and cover it with a cup or something small like that to make sure you don't get any dust or lint in your pendant. Okay, so now it's been 24 hours. It's completely dry and I'll just pop it out my mold. And now you have your pendant. And as you can see, I still have a couple little bubbles on the inside, but that's fine. Sometimes... Um, no matter how hard you try, you'll still get a little bit of an imperfection here and there. And here you can see the image. I'm just putting some white behind it so you can really see it pop. And here is just some newspaper. And as you can see, it's really clear. And there's several different things you can do with this, and uh, I'm sure I'll be doing more tutorials on the other things that I've done using transparency film and resin. So now I'm just brushing on more liquid resin to give my pendant a really brilliant shine. Okay guys, so this has set up for over 24 hours and you can see how shiny it is. So what I'll do now is take a piece of sandpaper or a file just a regular nail file and I'll use that just to clean up the edges and um, after I've done that I'll go ahead and put some clear on the back some more resin and you don't have to use resin you can use triple thick um, whatever you normally use for your resin you can use that and um, what I'll do is I'll make a second video to show you how I drill a hole into this pendant and attach the finding so you can wear it. So stay tuned for that coming soon, probably within the next couple of days. So um, be sure to come back for that. And if you have any questions, um, if you're confused about anything, feel free to contact me. You can email me or comment below. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.